In this video, I would like to teach you negative and derogative structure of simple present tense for singular subject. What kind of structure? That is formal. Formal simply means polite. Before this video, I have discussed the affirmative structure, negative structure, and derogative structure. Now, today I'm gonna discuss negative and derogative structure of simple present tense for singular subject only, and the plural structure I will discuss later on. So now, if we want to construct negative and derogative structure of simple present tense, it simply means if I want to make negative and derogative sentence of simple present tense, so how can I construct? So for everything, we need a formula. The same for the tenses as well. So the first we need formula is that first of all we need does. We need does. And does is followed by subject. S simply means subject. And second, we need not. Third, we need that is called not. And not is followed by base form of verb. Base form, base form of verb. Base form of verb. And verb is followed by complement. Verb is followed by complement. Complement. Now let's write that what are the subject what are the subject that we can use before does or we can use does before the subject so actually we are going to discuss that only for the singular uh, subject he she had and maybe singular noun as well so first of all I need to add does that is called here does and then also I need to write here does here and the third also that I need to write does and the fourth also that I need to write does now does is followed by subject so as you know that we have three seven three subject pronoun one is called he so before he we have to add does and also that before the she we have to add does and also before the it we have to add we have to add does and also that if we talk about singular noun so singular noun simply mean it may be a name of a person like Ali and these all are followed by not we have to add not so we can simply add here not here not and we can also add here not and here we can also add not and here also not we have added here and then these are followed by base form of verb like for example i said does he watch watch is base form of verb i call here watch does he watch tv at night tv at night so i write here at night here if you talk about the second one so I said, does she not read a book? Read a, read a book. Read a book or you can also write here every day or other thing as well. Every day. And keep it in mind that an interrogative sentence, we need a sign of interrogation. We can also call question mark. Sign of interrogation or sometimes we also call question mark. So we have to add at the end question mark. For example, I said, does it rain? Does it rain? Does it rain in Naushera? Naushera. So at the end, I have to add a sign of interrogation. Question mark also. If I want to talk about a singular noun, so I said, does, does Ali play cricket on Sunday? Does Ali play cricket? Does Ali play cricket on Sunday? On Sunday. So on Sunday here. Yeah. On Monday, maybe also fine sign of interrogation here so if we look at our formula so this formula follow this structure is the structure follow the formula so the first one this one is called does so first of all if I want to construct if I want to construct negative and interrogative structure negative and interrogative sentence so first of all I need to choose sub does and then I have to add a subject so these are called the subject these are called subject pronoun so this one is called subject pronoun and these are all called does. So beginning of the sentence, first of all you need to choose does, then subject pronoun and then not, we have to add a not here. We have to add a not here. And after not, we have to add base form for. Base form for means first form for or we can also call additional form of verb, etc. So we have to add a first form of verb. That is called first number. And we can just represent with the help of V sign. 
and the rest of the sentence are called complement. From here until here, we call complement here. That is basically what? That is basically complement. That is called here complement. 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 Now, what I what I have discussed? I have just discussed the negative and tragative structure of simple present tense for singular subject formal, not informal. So if you want to construct negative and tragative sentence, first of all you need to choose does. But does is only for the singular subject pronoun or maybe singular noun as well. And does is followed by a subject. So does is followed by he, does is followed by she, does it followed by it, and does it followed by singular noun. And after subject pronoun, we have to add not, 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 and not. And not is further followed by base one for like for example you have watch, read, rain, play. And then these all are followed by a complement. Complement means the words which complete the sentence is called complement here. So complement here we have TV at night, it's a complement, a book, a book every day, it's called complement. And Nashira, it's also complement. And cricket on Monday, it's also complement. So this is complement, verb and not, subject and does. Keep it in mind or remember, if you talk about interrogative sentence, so always we add question mark or sign of interrogation. So that's the end of this video. And we are